Welcome back fight fans. I am the MMA spokesman and today I'll be breaking down this weekend's upcoming fight between Marlon Vera and Pedro Munoz. This is a fight that could have title implications in the future as both fighters are ranked in the top 10 and have proven themselves against some of the best in the division. In this video, I'll be analyzing their skills, their styles, their strengths, and their weaknesses and I'll be giving my prediction on who will win and why. Let's get started. First, let's talk about Marlon Chido Vera. Marlon Chido Vera is a 30-year-old Ecuadorian fighter who has a record of 20 wins and 8 losses. He is known for his aggressive striking, durable chin, and slick submissions. He has 9 wins by knockout and 6 by submission. He is currently ranked number 6 in the UFC bantamweight division. Vera is a very well-rounded fighter who can fight anywhere the fight goes. He has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and a brown belt in Judo. He is very dangerous on the ground as he can use his long limbs to lock up triangles, arm bars, and rear naked chokes. He has finished some tough opponents with his submissions such as Brian Kelleher, Andre Ewell, and Guido Canetti. However, Vera prefers to keep the fight standing where he can showcase his striking skills. He has a Muay Thai background and he likes to use kicks, elbows, knees, and spinning attacks to keep his opponents guessing. He has a lot of power in his strikes as he has knocked out some durable fighters like Frankie Edgar, Dominic Cruz, and Brad Pickett. Vera is also very tough and resilient. He can take a lot of damage and still keep fighting. He has never been knocked out or submitted in his career. He has only lost by decision, and most of those were close or controversial. He has shown great heart and determination in his fights, especially when he comes back from adversity or finishes his opponents in the later rounds. Some of Vera's strengths are his versatility, his creativity, his finishing ability, and his durability. Some of his weaknesses are his slow start, his volume, and his inconsistency. Vera tends to start slow in his fights, as he likes to feel out his opponents and find his rhythm. This can cost him some rounds or put him in trouble early on. Vera also tends to outstrike less than his opponents in his fights, as he relies more on quality than quantity of his strikes. Vera also tends to have some off nights, where he doesn't perform to his full potential or loses focus. Overall, Vera is a very exciting and talented fighter who always puts on a show for the fans. He is a dangerous threat to anyone in the division and some delusional fans believe he has the potential to become a champion someday. However, he also has some flaws that he needs to work on if he wants to reach the top of the division. Pedro the Young Punisher Munoz is a 36-year-old Brazilian fighter who has a record of 20 wins and 7 losses. He is known for his crisp boxing, powerful leg kicks, and guillotine chokes. He has 5 wins by knockout and 8 by submission. He is currently ranked number 10 in the UFC bantamweight division. Munoz is a very skilled fighter who has a lot of experience in the sport. He has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and a brown belt in Judo. He is very proficient on the ground as he can use his technical grappling and his signature guillotine choke to finish his opponents. He has submitted some notable fighters with his guillotine such as Rob Font, Russell Doan, and Justin Scoggins. However, Munoz also likes to stand and trade with his opponents where he can display his striking skills. He has a boxing background and he likes to use jabs, hooks, uppercuts, and overhands to damage his opponents. He also has a devastating leg kick that he uses to chop down his opponent's legs and limit their mobility. He has knocked out some former fighters with his strikes, such as Cody Garbrandt and Brian Caraway. Munoz is also very durable and resilient. He can take a lot of punishment and still keep fighting. He has never been knocked out or submitted in his career. He has only lost by decision, and most of those were close or against top contenders. He has shown great heart and determination in his fights, especially when he faces adversity or pushes the pace. Some of Munoz's strengths are his technique, his power, his guillotine choke, and his durability. Some of his weaknesses are his reach, his defense, his cardio, and his age. 
Munoz is one of the shortest fighters in the division, as he stands at 5 feet 6 inches with a 65-inch reach. This can put him at a disadvantage against taller and longer fighters who can keep him at bay with their range. Munoz also tends to get hit more than he hits in his fights, as he relies more on toughness than defense. Munoz also tends to slow down in the later rounds, as he expends a lot of energy with his aggressive style. Munoz is also one of the oldest fighters in the division, as he is 36 years old and has been fighting professionally since 2009. Overall, Munoz is a very talented and experienced fighter who always brings it in every fight. He is a dangerous threat to anyone in the division, but he may not have what it takes to compete for the title at this stage of his career. However, he has a chance to prove himself against Vera, who is ranked higher than him and has been one of the most exciting fighters in the division in terms of knockout ability. If Munoz beats Vera, it will show us where Vera really is in the division, because some people think he is ranked too high for his skill set. But if Vera beats Munoz, it will show that for now, he does indeed belong at the top of the division. Now that we have covered both fighters' skills, styles, strengths, and weaknesses, let's break down how the fight might play out. This is a very intriguing matchup, as both fighters are very well-rounded and dangerous in every aspect of the game. However, I think there are some factors that will give Vera the edge in this fight. First of all, I think Vera will be more aggressive than usual in this fight. He knows that Munoz is a tough and experienced fighter who can take a lot of damage and still keep fighting. He also knows that Munoz is one of the shortest fighters in the division and that he has a reach disadvantage against him. Therefore, I think Vera will try to use his range and his kicks to keep Munoz at bay and then close the distance with his elbows, knees, and spinning attacks to hurt him. I think Vera will try to pressure Munoz and not let him get comfortable or find his rhythm. Secondly, I think Vera's accuracy will play a part later in the fight. Vera is a very precise striker who can land clean shots on his opponents. He has a 53% striking accuracy rate, which is higher than Munoz's 43%. I think Vera will be able to find openings in Munoz's defense and land some significant strikes on him. I think Vera will be able to catch Munoz with something that he won't see coming and be the first one to TKO him in his career. Thirdly, I think Vera's durability and recovery will also give him an advantage in this fight. Vera has never been knocked out or submitted in his career. He has shown great heart and determination in his fights, especially when he comes back from adversity or finishes his opponents in the later rounds. He also has an adamantium skeleton and the ability to regenerate his injuries like Wolverine in the form of an Ecuadorian middle-class gangster. This means that he can heal from any damage that Munoz might inflict on him and come back stronger than ever. Therefore, based on these factors, I think Vera will win this fight by TKO in the third round. I think he will be able to outstrike Munoz, hurt him with his power and creativity, and finish him with his killer instinct. I think Vera will prove that he is a legitimate contender who can challenge the best in the division. That's it for my breakdown of this fight. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. Please leave your comments below and let me know what you think of this fight and who you think will win and why. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more MMA content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.